So the auctions are ending, and I'll just show you quickly a few that have sold. Uh, the tin toys didn't uh, go terribly well. They, uh, well, they went for what they were worth, basically, or a little below, perhaps. But they were in rough condition and smaller, more than likely. Again, we don't know the size. And uh, this particular auction was mainly die-cast farm toys and die-cast cars uh, in boxes. So 1990s and 2000s sort of stuff. And I don't generally go for that sort of stuff. But there was a mix of vintage stuff, which I had selected. And that's the stuff, of course, I was bidding on. You can do not too bad in auctions where the main buyers are for the uh, die cast and such. And there's a smattering of uh, vintage stuff kind of mixed in. In this case, uh, hopefully we can buy a few things. But uh, so far, not a whole heck of a lot. Um, like I said, the... Uh, they have clothes now, so looking at 20 and 10 and 10, uh, that driving school one, clothes with no bids. Now, if that was going at a live auction and it was a couple bucks, I would bid on it anyway, just for parts. Just uh, put it out for 10 bucks or something, or 15 bucks. Somebody can use it for parts, maybe. But again, that particular one's sealed, so anyway. Um... I won one item for sure, so I've got to go pick stuff up. That's the Mercedes four-door sedan. Seeing as I have to pick stuff up, I'm going to bid on some other stuff a little more aggressively. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, you'll see this tanker truck here. Uh, or not tanker, sorry, friction U.S. Navy truck. There's plenty of them online, so it's surprising that's going for forty dollars. I don't know if there's any any of them online that are going that high. Interesting. Uh, the Husky truck is at sixty one. I've been outbid on it. No loss. It's pretty rusty. The Buddy L tanker is already at retail at one hundred and thirty dollars or so. That'll be going higher. I assume in the last twenty minutes somebody will probably put a slightly higher bid on it. It's worth it if you're a collector as a dealer. There's very little money, if any, to be made. And the Lumar gravel, the repainted gravel trucks at $40. It's healthy for a repaint and not a great repaint. And the showcases, I'll be going after them a little harder in a moment. And by moment, I mean probably in the last couple of minutes of the auction. Um, I'm just going to put a special higher a special bid a higher bid and uh, see if we can snag them at the last minute uh, they're pretty close to about what I want to pay so we'll see so in the last uh, six minutes I left three bids on the display cases uh, the speedle case which I'm not as keen about because it has uh, has an issue kind of with the shelves they've got a kind of a thumb hole um, a thumb hole that uh, makes it a little more difficult to display stuff whereas the Timex ones tend to be solid shelves but anyway thought I'd go after it anyway and uh, there's yeah so a high bid at a hundred and eleven dollars on all three so you know three hundred and Thirty-three dollars. So we'll see if I get those. Uh, there's only four minutes left. Uh, if I get outbid, the uh, it'll be within the last couple of minutes, I would think. And then the auction will be extended, so it'll give me a chance to bid a little more if I want. So we'll see. I should mention there's a I think a ten percent buyer's premium on these prices as well so with taxes and such they're going to be at 111 uh, there'll be another oh 10 10 percent another 20 or 30 dollars on top of that so I'm pretty much maxed out at what I'm bidding so if I get outbid I get outbid that's life but we'll see
All right, we've got two minutes to go, about one minute to go, according to this. So, yeah, we'll see if anybody else bids. One minute. All right, let's just see on the edge of our seats. Ain't it exciting? So, yeah, we'll see. Sixty seconds to go. Still leading bid on all three. Looks like we may end up with it. Hoping I don't get bid up too much more because, um, yeah, I just don't want to pay too much more than this because, like I said, there's the buyer's premium and taxes, and that's going to crank the price up a bit more. To uh, Probably up to 130, 140, something like that. 28 seconds to go. 26, 25, 24, 23. One of the problems with these is if you're trying to bid and snipe at the last minute, a lot of them end basically the same time or within a split second of each other, so they're really difficult to. Uh, Try to get uh, last second bid on, bids on. Oh, got her. Okay, got them, got them all. All right, trip's gonna be worthwhile. All right, good stuff. And the John Deere snowmobile helmet's at ninety-one dollars, so getting pretty close to retail. Still a good price if you're a collector, though. And I'm still at forty-two on the Mark's diesel type train. Was bid up a little bit. And we'll see how well the other stuff does in a little bit. We'll just leave it and wait because there's still 20 minutes to go on these particular listings. So far, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we've got the Marks train set and the other Marks train set as well. The uh, helmet sold for $91, by the way. And. Let's see, outbid on a collection of small vehicles, which is fine. Uh, outbid on the dinkies, which is fine. The one had damage, and uh, the tanker is a common truck and was pretty worn, so don't really need it. And uh, the beaver grader, uh, condition's not the best, so 30 bucks. It's it might be worth 50 as it sits, but don't really need it. <clears throat> And uh, didn't bid on the John Deere belt buckles. They're going for pretty much what they're worth or more. Uh, in this case down here, the John Deere belt buckle um, just says John Deere belt buckle. Or there's two buckles, I think it's supposed to be. And uh, it's for, they're kind of a specialty thing, Super Service Dealer Awards. I see these available for about $5 a piece to about $20 a piece um, in the box, $20 a piece that is, on eBay. And I see they're already at $40 for the pair of these. So, you know, somebody's paying up for them. So, yeah. And I've got a couple other things still to go. We'll check out page two two momentarily so uh, I had to refresh the page and uh, fix it up a little bit the system was kind of glitched anyway uh, I've got uh, top bid on some s trucks and cars out bid on Tonka which is fine it uh, it's not as the listing says it's not perfect but good uh, it's in decent shape but it's probably a $55 piece, and I was outbid at 32. I'd have to bid at least 37, I think, or 40 to get back in the game. It's just not worth it. Mark's truck, Coca Cola truck, good piece, but it's rough. It is quite rough when you get looking at it. And it's already at 86, and the condition it's in, that's all it's worth. And yeah, Tonka outbid it. Twenty dollars. It's maybe a thirty-five dollar truck, and we've got to make a buck. This press steel plane, I happen to like it. I'd like to bid a little more, but uh, at thirty-six, I'm really not going to make that much money. It might be worth sixty-five, seventy, 
but uh, yeah, I'm not going to bid more just to make a minimal amount just because I'm a little enamored with it. And let's see, there's a tin jet. I would have thought this was about a $60 toy. Um, it's actually, from what I've seen online, the only comparisons I've found were around a hundred and a quarter a piece. Uh, so I've decided to go after it, and I'm at ten dollar top bid. The photo isn't great. This is this is where the dealing with some, some of the auction companies comes in, or the sorry, not dealing with, but uh, this is where the um, uh, the way they list comes in. For example, in this particular case, it looks, the photos just don't do it justice, unfortunately. Um, and again, we'd have no measurements or anything like that. So without knowing or being familiar with that particular plane, you really don't know what size it is. Could be a little one, could be a big one. This one's about a medium size one, but uh, there it is, but it is a good, a better piece than people are thinking, I believe. Um, hoping it's in decent condition. From what I've seen, I think everything's probably decent. Hoping that it'll turn out decent. So, hoping to get it. We'll see. And the Tonkas uh, got outbid on them. Again, they're $35, $45 toys, maybe. Uh, as well, that one, there's a VW Beetle uh, still got the top bid at $15. If I get outbid, I'm not going to be unhappy or anything cause, because it's not in the best of condition. Uh, another Mercedes Benz still top bidder on it. A lot of the stuff's right at the very end, uh, and a lot of the stuff at the very end of the auction doesn't get the uh, action that you'd think. Because once people have gone through 36 odd pages, they're getting tired of it. And a lot of people just bow out about page 25 or so, is what I've noticed. Um, this is a piece here I'd like to go after, this Minto sign, but it's been repainted from what I can see. If it's an original sign, um, I guess we'll never know because I'm outbid already it's being repainted it's probably worth two and a quarter if it's an old sign um, and normally I would say don't ever repaint these signs it's not smart to do um, but I'm pretty sure that's what's happened is this one's been repainted perhaps it was maybe faded to nothing who knows but don't repaint signs especially old wood ones anyway um, that's pretty much it. Um, what I'll do is show you in a separate video what I got in the end. And uh, we'll go from there. So there will be a part three. All right. Thanks, folks. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks.